हाय हेलो टू ऑल माय व्यूअर्स आई एम आज मेरा कविता फ्रॉम टी टी डब्ल्यू आर सी ओ गर्ल्स कुरावी स्टडिंग सेकंड एम पी आई एम फ्रॉम खम्बम डिस्ट्रिक्ट सपोज देर इज एन एक्सीडेंट पासर्स टुक हिम टू द हॉस्पिटल डॉक्टर टुक्स टेक्स हिज हैंड्स एंड ऑब्जर्व पल्स रेट एंड हार्ट बीट What kind of sound heartbeat produces? Yes, heartbeat produces love tap, love tap, love tap. The thing but a beat that is love tap. Now we observe that love tap means a beat. Now my topic is beats. Now we are going to discuss about beats. Beats means the sound which we listen again and again is called beats. It is generally but According to our physics, beats means when two sound waves traveling in the air, it produces. We listen at the, it produces certain certain types of sound. At that time, we will listen a fluent sound or a clear sound. That type of sound is called beating. Yes, when two sound waves traveling in the air, they are travel in the same medium and. their intensity may be low or high intensity low means constructive interference intensity high means that's constructive interference when sound waves traveling in the air it uh, interference with each other and produces alternately constructive interference and destructive interference we will see that waves what they are traveling in the air, air. this is the this is the sound wave one suppose the sound coming from speaker one the sound wave is traveling in the air it produces it has so many directions it travels in the air and another sound wave two means it produces from speaker two it the waves travel in the air like this sound wave one and sound wave two traveling in the air they both interference with each other at the time interference of waves it produces that alternately constructive this interference and destructive interference like this traveling in the air so many waves will interact with that waves but when we listen constructive means the sound which we cannot listen that means the sound which we listen means high frequency destructive interference is very peaceful to listen i will say the example for constructive interference if we are traveling in the way at the time was bus horn was horning bus was horning at the time we automatically we do that oh it's it's a, it's a high to listen if we listen that sound like music is playing we melodiously we will listen that music means that type of sound is called destructive interference which which the sound make us to listen or make us to stop our ear that type of sound will produce us when two sound waves interface in the air and we know so many mathematical formula according to that we are going to find out in now beat mathematical formula when beat mathematical formula we are going to find out for which we are find out in yes for sound waves first sound wave 1 sound wave 1 is traveling in the air sound wave 1 we do not has why the sound wave traveling in the air along the displacement and the time this is the y1 and like that only y2 means sound wave 2 it travels along the displacement and the time like this two sound waves travels we take that angle first y is equals to a cos omega 1 t and next y2 a cos omega 2 t here cos we take has first y1 is equals to a cos omega 1 t no so cos we take has omega cos omega 1 has angle and t has along that time and a is that amplitude and along like that only we take y2 y2 is equals to a cos omega 2 t a means amplitude cos omega 2 means angle and t is the time taken that wave traveling in the air like this 
sound wave 1 and sound wave 2 interact with each other. That means y is equals to y1 plus y2. We are going to find out now beat mathematical formula. We can denote that y and s we take as displacement. Yes, also we can take and y also we can take for displacement. So, here we took that s is equals to s1 plus s2. Now, s is equals to sound wave 1. We took that a cos omega 1 t plus a cos omega 2 t has wave 2. When these sound wave 2 interact with each other in the air, a cos omega 1 t plus cos omega 2 t. Let we take that a has common cos omega 1 t plus cos omega 2 t taken has bracket. So, according to our mass cos omega 1 t plus cos omega 2 t has formula for mathematical. We took that cos omega 1 t plus cos omega 2 t is equals to 2 a cos omega 1 t plus cos omega 2 t. Here 2 into cos omega 1 plus omega 2 t by 2 into cos omega 1 minus cos omega 2 t by 2. We taken that according to mathematical formula. Now, we are going to add that in that formula cos omega 1 t plus cos omega 2 t. Here is equals to 2 a into cos omega a plus omega b by 2 we took t has common and into cos omega 1 t minus omega 2 t by 2. Like that we are now if there is a big formula, we get the more time, we took the more time to calculate. So, like that, we assume that take small formula. In that omega a omega 1 t plus omega 2 t by 2, we took that omega a t and omega 1 t minus omega 2 t by 2, we assume that it has omega b t. We add in that formula. 2a cos omega 1 t plus omega t 2 by 2 in that place we take omega a t and cos omega b plus t in that place we assume. Like that finally we find out that beat mathematical formula 2a cos omega a t into cos omega b t and now we are going to find out that frequency beat frequency. What is mean by frequency? Frequency means the number of oscillation per second is called frequency. Yes, number of oscillation per second is called frequency. Then what is beat frequency? Beat means its type of sound. Frequency means I say that number of oscillation per second means beat and frequency. When these two are added, we can take that beat frequency. Beat frequency means beat frequency is nothing but beat frequency is always equals to the differences of sound wave 1 and sound wave 2. As we took that sound wave 1 a cos omega 1 t plus omega 2 t by 2, we took that. According to that, we will say that uh, beat frequency. Beat frequency means we can denote that beat frequency has mu. Are you seeing that? Mu means that. That is the symbol of mu, frequency. Frequency is equals to sound wave 1 means frequency Sound wave 1 we do not has A. Frequency A minus means difference frequency B means frequency sound wave 2. Finally, beat frequency means we do not mu and mu is equals to mu A differences of mu B. Mu A means sound wave 1 and mu B means sound wave 2. Differences of these two sound waves we get beat frequency. Now, we are in our daily lives. What is in our daily life? Beat examples. Beat examples of daily life. Daily life beat examples are musical instruments. Beat, beats are useful in musical instruments and in detection of coal mines is right. In our musical instruments means for example, guitar and tabla. So many instruments are there in our daily life uses. When guitar is played, when like that guitar is playing with the strings, the person was playing that guitar, at that time it produces stationary waves. Stationary waves it produces and now I am going to show you that guitar. This is the guitar when this was playing, 
when this was playing it we vibrate the strings these are the strings these are the strings these strings when we are playing it produces some sounds that sounds is equals to the stationary waves yes stationary waves means the combination of two sound waves moving in opposite direction at that time we said that the waves are moving in same direction but in stationary waves we take has two waves traveling in the opposite direction when two sound waves traveling in the opposite direction opposite direction they they was observe we can observe that same amplitude and the same frequency same amplitude and frequency it produces the stationary waves and it also produces the node and anti node node means the sound the amplitude sound means the amplitude which becomes the maximum maximum is called node and anti node means the amplitude which becomes the low means zero the amplitude which becomes the zero is called anti node anti node is now we clear with the node and anti node then we are saying that amplitude becoming zero amplitude becoming the maximum what is amplitude right now yes we are going to say that what is amplitude amplitude means the maximum maximum displacement or a distance displacement or a distance moving on a point on one point or a point and moving a point by in the or vibrating objects vibrating objects in that produces that stationary waves like that the amplitude is also we came to know what is amplitude now amplitude means we get the uh, full clearance about that amplitude like, uh, if we are in our daily life we just how we get uh, in our mind means we just realize that and we should do experiment for that and we have to write so like that i done for you we i have written that beat frequency for you this is the beats and beats means i said that two sound waves i said that two sound waves of different frequencies frequency means number of oscillation per second beat frequency approaches approaches means which was coming to our towards us towards to ear means this is our ear it comes towards to our ear when we are listening or when the wave was coming towards us in air is called beating that is sound is called beating it is clear once more i i will repeat for you when two sound waves of different frequencies approaches to our ear that time you will listen clear sound is called beating we here we clear with that beating it produces alternately constructive interference and destructive interference and next we uh, discussed that beat mathematical formula here beat mathematical formula we also written in the chart work to say in front of you here beat mathematical formula and before going that one more main point we discuss in that beating when two sound waves of different frequencies with a different frequency hey, you are not the same that is the different frequencies yes different frequencies in the same direction here the waves are traveling in the same directions that super impossible to each other super impossible to each other means they are traveling in the same medium and interface with each other the waves interface in the air and produces that produces with each other constructive interference and, and destructive interference and uh, each other interference each other then their intensities then their intensities may be low or high i already said that low means which we listen with the constructive interference destructive means the sound which has low frequency is called destructive interference and high means constructive interference constructive interference means the sound which we listen with a high frequency is called destruct constructive interference now we are going to again discuss about beat frequency beat mathematical formula beat mathematical formula means we denote it has displacement along it has 
yes and y. S is equal to a cos omega 1 t and S 2 is equal to a cos omega 2 t. Like that we will lastly find out that beat mathematical formula has 2 a cos omega a b t plus cos omega into cos omega b t. Like that beat mathematical formula also we have discussed. And now we will see again our rays wow how they traveling in the air. Yes, this is the sound wave 1 and this is sound wave 2. Then this sound wave traveling in the air, we listen that some type of sounds like different objects. If I say example for that, one is the stone and another is the steel plate. If these two are falls on the floor, it produce different types of sound. When sound come from one stone and another is steel plate. When different waves, different sounds will come from that two different objects. At that time, we will listen that a clear sound or frequent sound. That type of sound is called beating. And now, in our daily life, I say that in our daily life, we play so many musical instruments. Musical instruments, not only guitar, we play that tabala and violin and so many instruments etc we will play in our daily life for example of beats. Yes, when these are playing we can observe that some type of melodious music observing from listening from that. When some type of sound comes to our ear we will listen so much with a peaceful mind. With peaceful mind we will listen that the type of sound which was producing from the different musical instruments. And when different musical instruments was playing, we will listen with the our ear. It was traveling in the air. What is the traveling? The sound waves which was producing, producing from different musical instruments. Different musical instruments coming and the persons who are playing, they also listen. But they listen at that time, they will listen with a high frequency and Another means low frequency. Low frequency the person who listening means the person who was far away from the who was playing from the object source. The person who was away from the source or means more distance from the source which was playing the musical instruments for that person we will listen low sound that means destructive interference. The person who was playing the guitar Behind the source only the observer is there means at that time you will listen the constructive interference. And this is our topic in our daily life users and beat. This is my full topic of beats. I, I have given you clear about all the beats and thank you for my mentor teacher. Thank you T set to my beloved principal sir and secretary sir for giving this wonderful opportunity and my subject associate sir. Madhusudan sir, Madhavarao sir and Mohan sir and who was helping me to present in front of this projector PPT means he, that there was the Azardan sir and the Vishnu Kumar sir. Thank you a lot for thank you. Today's our class is completed. We will meet on another class. Till now. Bye.